everybody. Welcome back to Bow and Arrow Garage. I'm really happy to be working back on the C3 Corvette tonight. Um, I had a pretty rough week in my last video. If you saw the end, I alluded to the fact that I was feeling kind of under the weather. And, and boy, oh boy, this week has been rough. I have probably had the worst cold of my entire adult life this week, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I am still not 100%, but I'm much better than I was in the middle of the week. So like I said, I'm really happy to be back on the car. And tonight in this video, I'm gonna focus more on the transmission side than on the engine side. Um, as you know, I did a Tremec TKX five-speed conversion on the car. And along with that, I'm switching over from a mechanical clutch to a hydraulic clutch. And so today I wanna to show the installation of the hydraulic clutch cylinder and also the, the installation of the remote reservoir for it. Also, I'm gonna to try to hook up all the miscellaneous parts to the transmission that I can. I've got the drive shaft that I wanna get installed. I was gonna to try to do it in the last video, but just never got around to it. And then, you know, I have the speedometer cable, some of the electrical hookups and different things. And I don't know how much of that I'm gonna to get to, but I definitely wanna get the, uh, the master cylinder installed, the remote reservoir installed, and the drive shaft installed. So I'm gonna work on those things, and then whatever we accomplish uh, um, in addition to that, then that's just gonna be just, uh, just the more better just to get us further along in this uh, build. So, so anyways, having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it and we'll see where we get. Okay, folks, I'm getting this uh, clutch master cylinder located. So what I did is I, I had the master cylinder in and I had it attached with two of the screws here and here where the uh, old boot used to attach. We basically just had some uh, self-tapping screws or some sheet metal screws through a metal bracket that's inside the floorboard um, on the inside of the car. And so I had it attached and from the inside, I drilled this hole up. I just stepped it up. It's uh, initially about a 5 seconds hole. And they tell you to drill it out to a 3 8 size. I went to a 5 16 because that's the size of the bolt. And so basically what I did, and I'll show you on the master cylinder. Is I took the socket and I basically just wrapped it in tape so that it would fit pretty snugly inside the master cylinder. And I could spin it around. I basically cut the tape down to where it's set perfectly flush, basically. And then I left this, the socket smaller because the hole that goes through the firewall is smaller. So basically it just lined it up concentrically. And then I ended up um, lining the holes up with the holes that the boot that the boot used and basically that got me to where um, just to where the master cylinder cleared this bracket right here on the steering column and so you can see where this fits this is actually the support bracket that goes on the inside but I'm going to use it to drill out this last hole so a lot of people say that installing the clutch master cylinder is, is one of the more difficult parts of the job. And I would definitely agree. So let's see if I can get a little pointer and show you there is the bracket right there with the clutch um, push rod coming out in the middle there. So it's installed. I was able to drill the left hand two uh, screws from the inside and then the one um, toward the center, I had to drill from the outside with an angle drill. So there's a uh, finished installation of the clutch master cylinder, at least the mounting of the master cylinder to the firewall. If you notice, the master cylinder is kind of canted off to the left. Um, the instructions actually tell you on this model Corvette that it will point slightly to the left. Kind of, I guess, depends on your definition of slightly. Um, it's a little more than slightly in my opinion, but I did call Silver Sport Transmission 
And they said you can actually run this master cylinder upside down and it won't affect the operation of it. I do need to work on getting the line from the slave cylinder hooked up to the master cylinder. And I will end up doing that here, um, hopefully by the time this video is over. But for right now, I just wanted to get the, uh, get the master cylinder installed and then we'll uh, move on from there. There are some other issues that I need to address. I'm going to look at the instructions a little closer. But as far as hooking up the push rod to the actual clutch pedal and stuff. But anyways, we'll get to that here in a few minutes. I just wanted to show you a completed installation of the uh, clutch master cylinder. Okay, guys, I'm working on um, locating this reservoir. Silver Sport Transmission tells you to take the stud, the studs, I should say, off of the brake master cylinder and on the left hand side, and that it should set over the studs. Well, first of all, there's only a stud, not two. There's this one here. And I'm assuming they're saying take this nut off and slide this over. And basically it would end up sitting in here somewhere like this. The only problem is, is that's going to be right in the way of the um, latch. I think it would possibly interfere with this guy here. Um, so I don't think that's going to work. And plus there's only one stud, not two. So it says alternately you can attach it to the firewall. Well, there's no place around here really that it'll fit. So what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to install it here. Obviously I had to put the, the bolt heads on like that. And so I'm going to go get some spacers that are thicker than this and just drill these two holes. And I think that if I locate it all the way down here, that that'll give me room to still close the hood and that this portion of the hood right here will sit in between here. I think it's gonna just give me enough clearance. So if it's gonna mount it higher up here, just so that these clear and this can be flat against the, the firewall. But I think it's going to be too high and I think it might possibly interfere with the hood. So I don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to do a couple things and I'll let you know how it uh, turns out in the end. So for the um, clutch master cylinder reservoir, I settled on locating it here on the firewall. I drilled out these two holes right here and that's where I'm going to end up mounting it. So I was able to locate the uh, clutch uh, reservoir on the firewall. Unfortunately, I had to move it a couple of different times. I initially located it like I had originally said, but it was too high and the um, hood release cable was sitting so hard on the top that it was actually unlatching the hood on the, on the right hand side. So I ended up having to move the bracket down. I had to drill two new holes. You can see the hole in the center was originally the upper hole. And so um, I had to drill the two new holes and cut a little bit off the bottom of the bracket. I was able to move it down enough now to where the hood cable doesn't touch it. And there was also a, there was a little bit of clearance between the hood structure and, and the cap, but it wasn't enough for me to be comfortable with. So I ended up spacing it out a little more with these rubber spacers here. And um, they actually fit pretty per perfect. The, the um, reservoir is really, really sturdy. And the other thing I ended up doing was getting this 90 degree elbow down at the bottom that basically reroutes the hose and, and gives it a straight shot down to the uh, master cylinder. So it's actually going to work out pretty perfectly. Um, it looks a little ghetto, I must admit, and I'm trying to keep, keep it looking nice. But at the end of the day, we've got to make it functional. And I think right there, it's going to be perfectly functional. All right, everybody, it's the next day here, and I pretty much have wrapped up the uh, clutch master cylinder. I'll get the camera turned around and show you what I did. I just finished it up last night as far as the installation, and then today I plumbed the hoses. And uh, so the next thing I've got to do is, is I've got to figure out how to hook up the push rod to the clutch pedal. And there are some uh, issues that might arise from that. I, I don't know exactly how it's going to happen right now, but I'll get more into that here in a few minutes. But let me get the camera turned around. I'll show you how I plumb the hoses and then we'll go from there. 
So I routed the hose straight down through there, put a little hose clamp on it, just drilled a hole through the uh, firewall, and then it runs down and connects down here. So you can see there at the top of that brass fitting, the braided line that comes from the uh, slave cylinder attaches right there, and it's just kind of routed down. And it actually has some movement so that when I put the heat shield back on down here on the firewall, that I should be able to tuck it up behind there. So, so anyways, that's it for the slave cylinder. The other thing I ended up doing last night is I ended up removing the vacuum canister for the headlights. So um, basically what it did is, is it just was, a, was storage for vacuum so that you could actually open the headlights with the engine not running. And I did the electric uh, headlight conversion, so I won't need that anymore. And it just freed up a lot of space in here. Um, I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do as far as mounting the ECUs. I may end up mounting them over here. I haven't, uh, haven't made that decision yet, but I'll, uh, I'll decide that when I get there. But, but anyways, that's it for the reservoir and for the lines. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the installation of the reservoir and the clutch master cylinder. The pedal is actually pretty much perfect. So I, I, was, um, I was concerned about the installation of this push rod because I got caught up in reading forms on the net when I should have just read the instructions that came with the uh, transmission. The push rod installation was a non-issue. All I had to do basically was thread the rod end onto the push rod and then thread the push rod onto the clutch master cylinder, making sure I pretty much got the same amount of threads on each end. Um, my... Clutch pedal sets even with my brake pedal, and it works perfectly. The feel is just about right. Like I said, I've already bled the system. It feels fantastic. I have a good amount of throw. The instructions tell you to make sure that you have an inch and three-eighths of pedal travel um, in your clutch master cylinder, and I have exactly an inch and three-eighths. So everything is perfect. So with that being said, um, we're going to call the... The basic clutch system complete. It feels like everything is fantastic. We won't, we'll know more once we get the uh, car running and uh, make sure we can test it. But I went through all the tests with the engine off that they uh, ask you to do with the instructions and everything was perfect. Okay guys, with that being said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Unfortunately, I didn't get to the uh, drive shaft installation in this video, but the good news is, is I'm gonna try to release another video midweek um, covering that installation process. And uh, from this point forward, I'm going to try to release videos more consistently, but also more often. I'm going to try to release one on Saturday night, Sunday morning, and then another on Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. Um, unfortunately, the videos are going to be a little bit shorter, but I think that's going to work better for my schedule, and it's going to serve to keep me more on topic. So, so hopefully if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, make sure you smash that like button. And we hope to see you again in the future. Thanks and have a great day.